ATX versus micro ATX what's the difference between them so first we have to take a look at what is ATX and what is micro ATX so first ATX ATX is short for advanced technology extended which is the most common motherboard design ATX motherboard is developed by Intel in 1995 to improve previous de facto standards such as AT design. The full size of the ATX motherboard is 12 by 9.6 inch that is 305 by 244 millimeter. Now what is a micro ATX motherboard? Micro ATX motherboard sometimes can be called as Nano ATX or U ATX or Micro ATX. It was released in December of 1997 and the maximum size of Micro ATX motherboard is 9.6 by 9.6 inches that is 244 by 244 millimeter. Now Micro ATX versus ATX a comparison in terms of RAM slots. So RAM slot is the first thing that needs to be compared when talking about ATX versus micro ATX motherboard. ATX motherboard supports up to 4 RAM slots and each of them can accommodate RAM cards of up to 32 GB while most micro ATX only supports 2 RAM slots and each of them can accommodate RAM cards of up to 32 GB as well. Both ATX and Micro ATX motherboards can provide enough additional memory space to run most games while ATX motherboards can provide larger memory space. PCIe slots. Speaking of Micro ATX versus ATX, there is a difference between PCIe slots. ATX motherboards possesses about 7 PCIe slots so that you can use them to add other devices such as video cards and modems to your computer. What's better, sometime some of the ATX PCIe slots can hold other SSD and HDD. However, micro ATX only supports up to 4 PCIe slots but you can also use them to add video cards, sound cards and also on to improve your game basic features now the price between atx and micro atx when referring to the price the price of atx motherboards is relatively high compared to other motherboards such as mini itx and micro atx this is because atx motherboards have high end features and are designed to provide better performance than other motherboards and it can be used as an excellent gaming motherboard because it can handle the most demanding games in addition atx motherboards can also be used to handle high-end and demanding office computer programs so what is the bottom line after uh, we have gone through all the points you should know that both atx and micro atx motherboards are suitable for high quality games because most games require a ram of at least 16 gb to play properly that is the minimum RAM requirement but ATX motherboard provide more RAM slots and PCIe slots therefore its price is higher than micro ATX motherboards so for gaming the ATX motherboard is much more preferred over the micro ATX motherboard but in terms of size and space the micro ATX motherboard is more preferred because it takes less space in the cabinet if you have a big cabinet you can use a micro ATX to cut down the space of the motherboard so thanks for watching this video if you haven't subscribed to the channel then do consider consider subscribing and if you are interested in computer computer tips computer tricks computer tutorials and overall computer education then give a like on this video for sure and also share with your friends and also your one like and your one subscription is a huge motivation for us to make more and more videos in the future thanks for watching